Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported that he heard the story from the Prophet. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him. There was a man who lived with his daughter in a house that had a garden. Here you are, Haji Said. You never say, my father, like all girls. Firstly, you love being called Haji since Allah blessed you by visiting Kaaba. That's right. And what is secondly? Secondly, I love your name and I feel happy and comfortable when I say it. May Allah bless you, Najla, and bless you with a husband who appreciates your kindness. Everything Allah gives is good, my father. Eat, enjoy your meal. I want to talk about something important. I need a lot of money in my work and there is a debt. I must repay to its owner. Then sell this large house, my father, and buy a small one that meets our needs. Glory to Allah. This is what I wanted to suggest you. Oh, people of the town. Haji, Aib. the known trader is offering to sell his house and this house has a garden. Glory to Allah! What a coincidence! Oh, people of the town! Wait, caller! We are not from here. Where is the house of Haji Sayyid? On the riverside, in the end of this road. Did you hear that father? His house is on the river and has a garden. This is what we are looking for. It's a large house, but the garden isn't fruitful. That's right. My work and trade don't let me take care of the garden well. My son wonders, why are you selling your house? Has it any defects? See it by yourself. It hasn't any defects. We want to see how big this room is. Excuse me. This is my daughter's room and she is in it. It's not important. We don't want to bother you. Never mind, my father. Let the guests see the room. Come on, my daughter. Now we talk about the price. How much do you want? I offer it for 1,000 dirhams. What do you think, my son? It is worth 1,000 and more. We take it, despite the enormous effort that the garden needs. <laughs> Thank God we found this small house for just 500 dirhams. It is true that it hasn't a garden, but it is good anyway. We don't need the garden, father. The most important is that I repaid the debt to its owner. Thank Allah, this is really the most important. Let me do this job, father. Okay, but do not push yourself hard. The land Takes long time to be fixed. Why did you stop, my son? There's something hard under the axe. It could be a big stone. No, look at it, father. It looks like a jar of pottery. It's really a big jar of pottery. Give me a hand, father. It's so heavy. Have a look, Amjad. The jar is full of gold pieces. Glory be to Allah. I needed really this money because I spent all my money to buy this house. But this jar doesn't belong to us. How? It's in our land. No, it's in the land of Haji Sayyid who sold us the house. Maybe he inherited it from his grandparents. You are right, my son. Let's return it to its owner. Unfortunately, I lost all my money in the trade. Thank Allah for everything. 
Who knocked on the door now? Open the door. We are the ones who bought your old house from you. I am going in, father. Welcome, gentlemen. Please come in. My apologies. We came to you in this late time. We found this jar of gold buried in your garden. And it belongs to you for sure. No, it's not mine. So, it belongs to your grandparents because it was in your garden. But the garden, it's not mine anymore. I sold it to you. You sold us the house for 1000 dirhams. And this jar is worth a hundred thousand dirhams. How could we take it? It's yours. If it was mine, I would find it when I was owning the house. Listen, Haji Sayyid. It's impossible for us to take something that is not our right. Take it. Me too. I won't take something I sold. You take it. Listen to me. Do not be stubborn, sir. Do you say I am stubborn? Do you hear what your father is saying, Amjad? Yes, and I think he is right. You do. So, let's go to the judge. Let's go to the judge. Do we take a jar of gold that is not ours? You are right. Didn't you find a way to convince him? I tried with him a lot, but it's useless. Mr. Amr and Mr. Saeed, please enter the judge. You first, Mr. Amr. No, I cannot. You came first. But you are older than me and our guest. I will not come in, only after you. Come on, the judge is waiting. This is the strangest case I see over my entire working as a judge. I won't accept money, that's not mine. Me too. Hmm, do you have children, Mr. Saeed? Yes, I have one daughter. She sits there. Yes, I saw her. And what about you, Mr. Amar? I have only this young man, Amjad. Are you married, Amjad? No, I am not. Do you accept to marry this girl? Yes, I do for sure. It's a great honor. And do you take him as your husband? It's my father's decision. Okay, this case is closed. This man marries this good girl and you spend the money on them. Allah heard my prayers for you, my daughter. May Allah bless your marriage and the treasure. Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu attaqu Allah wal tanzur nafsum ma qaddamat li ghad. Wattaqu Allah in Allah <laughs> أصحاب الجنة هم الفائزون لو أنزلنا هذا القرآن على جبل لرأيته خاشعا متصدعا من خشية الله وتلك الأمثال نضربها للناس لعلهم يتفكرون